Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2012 Ford Explorer and I will show you which fuses to check in case your radio is not powering up or if there is no sound coming from the speakers. This video will apply to Ford Explorers made from 2011 all the way up to 2015. Okay, now accessing those fuses is not the easiest. You'll have to get your body into quite awkward position. Now, um, the fuse box will be just under the steering wheel in the upper left corner. Now, my Explorer is missing a cover here. I got it like this from the auction, but you will have like a plastic cover here. To remove it, just uh, remove these two screws, one here and one here on the opposite side and pull the cover off. And once you do that, you'll have full access to, to the fuse box. Okay, so I will turn the flash on my phone and try to squeeze it in. Okay, now this right here is a fuse box cover. You can see on top of it, there is a small fuse diagram. To remove the cover, you'll have two black tabs, one here on this side, one on the opposite side. So you want to press them together and leave the cover off. Okay. And once you have it off, on the back side of the cover, right here, there is supposed to be a fuse puller. This car is missing for some reason, but yours will have like a small white fuse puller right here which you can use to remove any of the fuses if you don't have it you can use something like a small pliers or anything that you can find handy okay so i hope i'll be able to squeeze my phone inside enough so you can see it so first fuse you want to check will be fuse number five which is a 20 amp fuse located here and this is the fuse responsible for power to the amplifier so we'll be checking this fuse in case there is no sound coming from the speakers. Now fuse number 9 is the second fuse you want to check. It's going to be just behind this relay. If I can get my phone inside. Okay, so fuse number 9 will be just here behind this this relay it's a 10 amp red fuse so it's if you come from the top from one to nine the fuse number nine is gonna be there i can't squeeze my screwdriver there but i hope you can see it here okay this is the one the red 10 amp fuse number nine this is the fuse responsible for power to the radio screen Okay, now fuse number 26 will be a 5 amp fuse located here, responsible for power to radio frequency module. Now you will check this fuse in case your radio AM FM is not working. Now the main radio fuse will be fuse number 29, which is down here, a 20 amp fuse responsible for power to the radio itself. Uh, Ford Sync, Ford, Ford Sync module. So this is your main radio fuse. So if your screen is blank, your Ford Sync is not working, your radio is not powering up, any, any, anything like this, this is your main radio fuse. Okay, and that's, that's it. Okay, so if all these fuses are good, then you will have to do a bit deeper diagnostics. Maybe pull out the radio, check all the connections behind it. Maybe take the vehicle to a Ford dealership to, to scan the radio module because these vehicles have like a special module. And if there is a code inside the module, that could point you towards the right direction. But if you're lucky, you'll just find a burnt fuse, replace it, and you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching this short video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.